If you are struggling with addiction or you know somebody who is struggling, you're not alone. I'm going to point out three top reasons that cause an addiction or where they come from. Being trapped is not fun. It affects all the areas of your life. So your family, your ability to have a good relationship with your spouse or to be a good parent, to be able to go to your work and enjoy your work. Everything seems to be a struggle financially. So now you have financial issues and then there's even more stress and it's a compilation one after the other after the other. My husband and I understand that struggle. We were those people. That's why we do what we do. That's why we help families hit that reset button so that they can have life and beyond the addiction, not carrying a piece of the memory that's going to haunt them forever into the rest of their lives. There can be true freedom, and we are living proof of that. The first one is that it has to do with family history. More is caught than taught and we can tell our children all day long what to do but if we are doing something that we tell them that is not good for them they're going to become like us whether it's good or bad what we do in moderation they're going to do in excess many times so when a child sees you having a beer and getting drunk then they too one day very likely will have a beer and get drunk if your child sees you doing an illegal drug and they think, I will never be like my mom. I will never be like my dad. Many times that child becomes their parent in that they are addicted also to a drug that they can't stand and it's affecting them in a wrong way. Sometimes there's not a whole lot that a child can do to overcome those inadequate feelings that they have when their parents have been addicts or alcoholics. So they too end up just wanting to medicate and get rid of the same feelings. When we do something that we don't want our children to do, again, more is caught than taught. The second reason that somebody ends up falling into an addiction is lack of family involvement. When there's a lack of family involvement, the child feels that they don't have any value. If you're not speaking life into your child, then they're going to look for somebody who's going to speak something to them, anything. Our pastor used to always say, he who spends the most time wins. And it's true. So even in our youngest child's life, when she was spoken over and given the word of God to go back to for reference, you know, we would tell her that she was knit together in my womb, that she had a plan and a purpose. We used to tell her about all of the beautiful things that God said about her, and it's written in his word. She still was tricked by the enemy to believe that she wasn't pretty, she wasn't smart, she had no future, and if we had not pulled her back into us during that time, which meant that she didn't get to go where she wanted to be. She didn't even get to volunteer at church in the area that she was because she was escaping there. But we pulled her in to volunteer with us. We reminded her of where to run to. He who spends the most time wins. Many kids, they don't have that. They don't have that special time with their parents or have the ability to go back to, ah, if anything happens, I can run to mom and dad because they listen to me. The third reason is because of trauma. Many times there's a childhood trauma, but many of the families that come into this ministry, their kids are dealing with trauma because they've been removed from their home. And even though they've been removed because it's not safe in that home, and they're going to a safe environment in a foster home where they're being loved and paid attention to and there's no drugs, no alcohol. There's still a trauma from being pulled from their birth parent. So unless we deal with that, then that cycle will continue because now they have a trauma that they have to deal through too. It says in the Bible that the wise seek counsel. Many times it takes the eyes of another person and the wisdom spoken into you to be able to get that understanding of why you even began using to begin with. Counseling can help you through that, but we believe in the perfect counselor, meaning the Holy Spirit, when you surrender to Christ and you have his spirit living in you, then he guides you. And so when it says in the Bible that he guides you into all truth, then you actually have to act in that too. And when you get to know him and submit to him, then you have fruit of the spirit that helps guide you into recovery. 
So I want you to know why it's important that you know the root of what caused you to begin using in the first place. If I didn't know that I was afraid of being abandoned, if I didn't know that I was battling such anger and unforgiveness, then I wouldn't be able to, to pinpoint those things and deal with those things so that I wouldn't try to medicate in my future, in my present or in my future. So I dealt with the root cause, dug up that root so that I don't have to worry about the weeds going to pop up in my future. If any of this is helping you, please like and subscribe to our channel.